Hi guys, I'm just hiking into the campsite. As you can probably tell, it's raining, raining quite a bit. Just doing an overnighter here uh, at the campground on Purongia Mountain. Uh, just going to be camping in my tent and hunkering out of this rain, but it's going to be good, so stick along. Cheers, guys. It's pretty late in the day, starting to lose light. It's going to be dark soon, so. By the time I get to the campsite, there's not going to be a whole lot of light. Uh, I'll probably end up sitting up partially in the dark, maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, we'll see, but just going to keep hiking, go get to camp and get the tent up. Got my rain cover over my pack. Uh, my sleeping bag and everything else is in plastic bags, but just to give everything an overall protection, I've got a, the rain cover over top. So hopefully that'll keep out most of the rain. All right, you guys probably can't see much, but I've made it to the campsite. I'm just gonna set up the tent. So I'll catch up with you guys once that's done. See you soon. Well, got the tent set up. Tent set up guys, out of the rain, which is nice. I didn't get the inside too wet putting it up. Uh, yeah, just had to quickly get the poles set up and then get flicked the fly over to stop any rain coming through the mozzie net here. There is a bit on the floor, but it's not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, I've got my German Army folding sleeping pad in my pack, so I'm just going to chuck that on the floor for now. I'll sort out the rest of my sleeping gear later. And uh, yeah, gonna get gonna get myself a bit organized here and then we'll then we'll get on to dinner. It's still raining outside. But it's a nice pit of pattern now that we're nice and sheltered. This is the side pocket on my bag here. And I wouldn't say it's the perfect size, but it's about the bare minimum size to fit my canteen. So it takes a bit of effort to get it in and out, but it fits pretty well. Fits my canteen, cup, and lid uh, all in that side pocket. So that's nice, it's just a bit of a tight squeeze. I'm gonna get my dinner on the ready. Just using a little gas cooker. For tonight, this one's nothing fancy. I've had it for years, but it works. So that's the that's the main thing here. We'll set it out there in the vestibule. Let's get some water on the boil. You guys are steaming up quite a bit there. Hopefully you can still see me alright, although it's probably best if you don't. I've um, just got the pasta on. And where is it? Oh, I've got chicken teriyaki. Chicken teriyaki uh, in a can. So just pretty basic, just pasta and chicken. But it's going to taste good. It's going to fill me up, which is uh, what I really need because I'm pretty hungry. So I've got the chicken and pasta in there. I'm just gonna let it heat up for a bit. 
it's time for my dinner. Pretty plain and not the not the fanciest or anything, but it tastes good. Um, it was teriyaki chicken and then just plain pasta. Can't really complain. It's pretty good. Quick and simple. You just boil some water, throw some pasta in, chuck the chicken in. Uh, I could have chucked it back on the stove to warm it up a bit more because it's not that warm now because the chicken was cold but there's still some warmth there and I'm really not too bothered it's good enough for me especially down at the bottom um, it's actually pretty warm still down there Gotta mix it up a bit more. All finished. That was awesome. Just what I needed. Filled me up. I'm gonna just rest for a bit guys, listen to the power of the rain, and I'll be setting up my sleeping gear soon. Not gonna be going to bed yet though, I've got a good book to read. Man, this is awesome. Got my sleeping bag in a plastic bag. Nice and dry, which is good. All blown up. This is my sleeping bag. The compression sack is from Mech in Canada. I got it when I was over there. But in here I have my pillow. This is just a Kathmandu travel pillow. Blows up real quick and uh, provides a bit more comfort. Also got my sleeping bag liner. I believe this is a Cedar Summit one. Uh, yeah, this is a Cedar Summit sleeping bag liner. Probably won't be using it tonight. I bring it just in case, but yeah, probably won't need it. It's not exactly cold, just wet. And then the main item is my sleeping bag. This is a really old uh, fairy down sleeping bag. I think the model is lights out. And uh, it's a down sleeping bag. I don't know the rating of it, but I took it to Canada with the sleeping bag liner and it was pretty, pretty sufficient. It's probably lost a lot of its insulation over the years because it is very old. But um, yeah, it works well and it's down so it's nice and light and packs down pretty small as well. So that's my sleeping gear. The pillow is just added luxury, which is always nice. And uh, like you saw earlier, got my therma rest on the ground, and below that, just my uh, German Army folding sleeping pad. That's more just a moisture barrier, more than anything. <clears throat> but it would provide more insulation as well, just not comfort. But don't really need it with this therma rest. There's something about the sound of rain on your shelter, knowing that you're warm and dry. It's just so relaxing. It's just so nice to just lie here, listen to. I'm warm, I'm dry, I'm comfortable. It's just awesome. Dry socks. 
Well guys, I've crawled into my sleeping bag. Just about to read my book. I just thought I'd share with you what I'm reading. Um, I've read it before and I've seen the movie. The book is Into the Wild by John Crocker. Um, I really enjoyed it and I'm reading it again because I have I read it quite a while ago. I'm not going to give my opinion on uh, what I think of uh, Christopher McCandless, but um, but uh, yeah, if you guys read the book, you can form your own opinion on it. Um, but yeah, I like the book regardless. So yeah, that's what I'm reading tonight. Rain stopped at the moment. There's no pitter patter on the on the shelter on the on the tent. Hopefully, it'll start up later. I quite like listening to it. But anyway, I'll catch up with you guys later. Well guys, I'm going to hit the hay. It hasn't been raining for a while now. If anything happens during the night, I'll be sure to bring you back in. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers. Morning guys, nothing really happened during the night. Oh, I slept pretty good. Oh, it hasn't rained yet, or it sprinkled just before, but for like two seconds and that was it. Uh, I got my heat torch. I got my heat torch around my neck. Uh, that was a tip I learned from cold cracker bushcraft it's just real handy um, to keep it around there I don't even notice it when I'm sleeping I just chuck it on my head and I uh, turn it on if I need it and stuff so it's just right there I don't have to fumble around in the dark trying to find it but yeah I'm going to be getting up soon I've got breakfast to make I'm gonna get started on breakfast, guys. The weather's been real funky. One minute it's blue skies, the next minute it's grayed over and it's misting up and stuff like that. But that's all good. We shall just get cooking here. Using the gas cooker again. Nothing fancy, just simple, easy. Sun was trying to poke out for a few minutes there, it was out, but it's gone back away currently. There is still a little bit of blue in the sky, but not a whole lot to be honest. So for breakfast today guys, I have cheese, a muffin, an English muffin, uh, an egg, tomato sauce, and the main ingredient bacon so if you haven't guessed already I'm having a bacon egg muffin so it's gonna be good let's get started It's starting to rain quite a bit guys, there's a rainbow up there. I'm going to get that egg on now guys.
bacon, egg, cheese, tomato sauce. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good guys. Alright. Yep, nah, that's good, that's good. Cooking the egg was a bit of a mess. Uh, it kept sticking to the bottom of the pan, but it came out alright. It came out alright. The sun's come back out again, as you might be able to tell from the glare behind me. Um, and it's starting to warm up the tent. Once I've had this, I'll be getting out, getting out of here, out of the tent at least, because it's starting to warm up quite a bit. I'm going to start packing up now. Just start getting everything uh, that's in the tent here in my pack. I put the tent down last and it goes on the outside of my pack anyway, so that's... That's nice. It's starting to rain quite a bit guys, it was sunny again, now it's packed up again, the weather is just all over the place this morning. Um, I just thought I'd tell you about one flaw or something I don't like about this compression sack, and that is, is when it's completely out, it's quite long and skinny, I'd prefer it if it was wider and shorter. Um, because that means if you don't stuff your sleeping bag and stuff properly, you're going to have the tendency to, like, bend it, like, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but it, like, doesn't compress uh, nicely and you kind of end up with, like, a wonky, like, a banana or something shape. So, um, the larger compression sack's even worse. There are heaps of reviews about it saying, uh, how bad it is, but... It's not too bad with this size, but the bigger size is even worse. But um, yeah, now it does the job if I just pack it correctly. And I'm just going to show you guys. I've got the fly open because it was sunny and stuff. Look. It's all the sand flies. So many sand flies. Ah, uh, they they biting my leg and stuff. I guess they're just it's warmer in here and not as wet out wet in here. Go away! They weren't bad last night. There was like none, um, and I had the door open for quite a bit that night and then shut it when I went to sleep. But this morning, I guess because the sun warmed the tent up, they all just decided to come in here and make their home in here. So it's a bit annoying, but that's right. Anyway, I'm going to keep packing up. Good thing I can do it from all inside the tent here. So mostly packed away now. Just got the last bits of camera gear and stuff to put away. But I just thought I'd show you what I've done to my pack. So, the folding sleeping pad makes up the frame of this pack. There is a slight cushioning down the bottom here. Down the, down the bottom for the lower back. Um, but this waist, waist belt did not exist on this pack so this waist belt is actually from my i think it's hungarian or bulgarian one or the other um pack the big monstrosity that i took to canada this is actually from there it's real nice and padded and big and comfy 
and I have just taken oh the waste belt on this pack was just a piece of material like this like it was just a strap that didn't provide any comfort and it was a bit uncomfortable so I have managed to attach this using that waist strap to the pack and it's way comfier now um, yeah it works way better I'm real happy with it I can take it off and put it on the other pack if I want to use it so yeah that's how I've been using it I used it on my last camp as well so works real good and I'm pretty pretty happy with it pretty happy with it Hey guys, all packed up, heading out now, taking the longer way out, it's a loop track to the campsite and I'm just taking the slightly more scenic route out which is nice, doing a bit of walking, yeah, no, that's a good sign, sun's, sun's kind of coming out, still cloudy, weather's just all over the place. Well guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great time. If you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. Cheers guys, I'll see you in the next video.